Happy Friday, everyone. Ross McCorkle here with another episode of The Depot 180. As James Conner signed a contract with the Arizona Cardinals, the Steelers' top free agent remaining is Alejandro Villanueva. There doesn't appear to be a market for him, or at least not one that's been reported on much. The last I heard, the Steelers asked him to hold off on putting his house up for sale, but since, they signed Juju Smith-Schuster and several other under-the-radar free agents. Villanueva was named to NFL Network's list of top remaining free agents, so perhaps he will soon get an offer elsewhere. If he were to ultimately leave, the Steelers would have Zach Banner and Chukwuma Okorafor at right and left tackle. Maybe Villanueva will be next, as the Steelers appear to be trying to piece the band back together late in free agency. It was announced midweek that Vince Williams would be returning to the Steelers on a one-year deal. Josh Dobbs was also brought back for now on what is likely a move to create competition for Dwayne Haskins in training camp. It is looking less likely by the day that the Steelers will draft any quarterback in this year's NFL draft, despite what some experts may have said. Avery Williamson hinted on social media as well that he may be returning to the Steelers for 2021. Suddenly, inside linebacker that was a glaring hole on the roster is now taken care of in the short term. I find it unlikely that the Steelers will draft an inside backer now in the first round, whereas before it was definitely a possibility. Kevin Colbert does like to approach the draft this way. He makes under-the-radar moves in free agency to fill immediate needs so that when the draft comes, there is no external pressure to draft a certain position and chase a player. When you think about it, some of the Steelers' biggest draft mistakes of the Colbert tenure were drafting for need instead of sticking to the big board. Jarvis Jones and Artie Burns were at must-draft positions, and the Steelers ultimately reached and paid the price. Before Tyson Alualu changed his mind and Vince Williams returned on a one-year deal, the Steelers were down five defensive starters since last season. Now that number is three, which is much more manageable to replace. This was expected to be announced or hinted at from Cameron Hayward, the team's NFLPA rep, but Cassius Marsh appears to have hinted on social media that the Steelers will soon boycott the offseason training activities with concerns over COVID-19. A handful of other teams have already opted out, and more are expected to follow. The NFLPA and NFL are apparently at odds with the whole process, so that should be interesting to watch transpire following last year's CBA that was signed. Let me know how you enjoyed the video on Twitter at Ross underscore McCorkle, and as always, visit SteelersDepot.com for your latest and greatest Steelers breaking news and analysis. Thank <laughs> you.